Highlights today from Old Trafford as Manchester United continue their home stay at the moment. And today, they're coming up against West Bromwich Albion, who have had a very respectable season so far. But unfortunately, the last time these two faced each other, Manchester United won by a convincing three goals to one, with two from Aaron Henwood, who makes a start today. Game 25 of this Premier League season. And game 25, uh, would it be the magical 25 undefeated for Manchester United in the league now? as the fixtures don't appear to be getting any more difficult really for Coach Barbage, but West Brom had a decent season, uh, to be fair to them actually. Uh, but I think it's just the power of Manchester United that has really uh, been the story, uh, rather than the weakness or the position of other teams. Uh, the real fight is really uh, appearing in fourth place for the moment uh, between Manchester City Wolves and Leicester City who are creeping up on them a little bit. That seems to be the main battle. Of course, Manchester United uh, are seven points clear at the top of Spurs and Liverpool. But it would take an absolute catastrophe at this point uh, for Coach Park to be, well, not a Premier League winner, uh, quite frankly. And as you can see, the team today, is Coach Park taking these opponents more lightly than usual? Uh, but then, of course, the thinking behind that is probably just saving them for the League Cup semi-final against Arsenal. But bear in mind, they do have a 5-3 lead over them already. But, Parvich is a master tactician for a reason. Well, David here stays in goal, but it's a makeshift back four of first Semenza, Twanzebe, uh, Phil Jones and Cameron Bulford-Jackson playing for the first time in a while. Uh, Aaron Henwood makes a start with uh, Dan James and Donny van der Beek with Ali Traore. Mason Greenwood gets his first start since his injury and he's partnered up top with Alessane Pli. Sam Johnston, former Manchester United uh, goalkeeper, has in goal with Florian Bartley there in the defence. Jake Livermore's in a five holding role. Max Hurd, Gallagher, Harper and Dugana. Carlin Grant gets the nod up front. The rest of the defence is Bartley, Ajit and Townsend uh, for them. Harper. Uh, tries to whip it in and Fossey Mendes has given away a penalty. And all of a sudden, Manchester United giving away a lot of penalties here. It's another handball. This one is uh, pretty clear, to be fair. And uh, that's the clearest handball we've had this season. So it is the right decision. It's from Michalvian. From 12 yards, then, to put them ahead. Oh, and what a save by David De Gea. What a brilliant save. Outstretched hand by David De Gea. What a save. And he preserves the record. It'll probably be preserved by the goal scorers anyway, but that could be vital. And with heads away, only as far as Harper Ball West Brom. Traore. Only heads as far as. Uh, I think that was Fielding? Sonny Plea a lot further back than he probably would like. That's in Greenwood. And Plea, uh, Plea made a run in front of him. He's gone down. It's a penalty and it's a booking for Carl Bartley. And we're getting all sorts of penalty decisions tonight. And yeah, that's clear cut. To be fair, well played by Sonny Plea. And Aaron Henwood steps up. And will we have a save at the other end by Sam Johnston, his former teammate? Yes, we will. What a save by Johnston. And the goalkeepers are having their say in this one. It's a great save. Really is a great save. David De Gea and Sam Johnston having their own personal battle. Still, it's nil-nil here. On to Gallagher. Might not be for much longer though. And it's uh, a way and out for a goal kick. Clean. Wonderful one here by Mason Greenwood. 1 0. It wasn't going to stay 0 0 for very long. And who else would it be but Mason Greenwood on his return to the lineup to score another goal? That's his length of the season. 
A lot of people will probably argue he should be on a lot more, but injuries has curtailed him, but that's a good way to mark your start comeback, isn't it? Had a five minute cameo against uh, Sheffield United. And he's gone the score line in this one. 1-0 one to United. He was never going to stay 0-0 for long, was it? And Mason Greenwood is now back amongst the scorers with his 10th of the season. And uh, he's only two behind Marcus Rashford, so maybe there could be a bit of an interpersonal battle of goals going on. But with Manchester United, it's been such a team effort uh, that really 10 goals by your two main strikers actually isn't that much of a mean feat. And uh, it makes their uh, record even more miraculous. Uh, the fact that the two top scorers are the only two just reaching double figures for the season. And that's for the league, just the league of course. It's about passed by, uh, I think it was Van der Beek. Austin Menzel intercepts. And Van der Beek now has the ball, he's gone down. And Schneider would gain the advantage anyway. Here's ball for Jackson. I believe his first league start of the season, he's found Traore with a beautiful ball there. Going to cut it in towards Alassane, play! 2-0. Inevitable counter-attack football by Manchester United. And Alassane, play, gets another goal. It was a beautiful ball from Baldwin Jackson in the first place. And where's the defending from West Brom? They let play just stroll into the box. Good goal. But the West Brom defending only has itself to blame on that one. And Sane play gets another one. And that's his second goal following from the debut goal he scored in the Manchester Derby on his debut, incidentally. And uh, it's normal service here. Manchester United 2, West Brom 0. Well, if it had ended 0-0 at the end of this first half, we would have wondered what was going on. Plenty of action, two penalties with two fantastic saves from either goalkeeper. But Manchester United once again just showing their brilliance with two great goals, putting them ahead. And David De Gea having a brilliant night so far, keeping the West Brom strikers out. And uh, it's normal service and a return goal for Mason Greenwood. Manchester United 2, West Brom 0. Every single Manchester United player that has stepped out onto a pitch for their team. And wow! What an unbelievable news story this is! I didn't even know about this, but apparently there was a transfer confirmed as David De Gea makes another good save. Huge news coming out of Arsenal. Thomas Muller has been signed by Mikel Arteta from Bayern Munich. I didn't even know that was going on. And that could change the whole complexion entirely. If only Arsenal was so far uh, was higher up the table than they currently are, unfortunately. It's probably come a little bit too late to have a, snot, a title challenge. But if that's a signal in intent for next season, then Mikel Arteta has got a coup there. Thomas Muller from Bayern Munich, I repeat, has gone to Arsenal. Ozzy Menzar shouts for handball and the referee's giving it again. Fossi Menza just cannot keep his hands down. Well, he was always credited for his uh, lunge style. Eh, maybe a little bit more harsh than the first one. Well, here we go again. Can David De Gea make another one? From 12 yards. Yes, he can! Oh my goodness me! What a save by David De Gea! What an incredible save! Going in, at the very most hitting the bar. What a great save. David De Gea is on fire tonight. And it's a corner for West Brom. You must be wondering, what do we have to do? Snodgrass, Algy, and David De Gea is saved again, I think. David De Gea, he knew nothing about it. Wonderful save by De Gea. He seems incomparable. And, uh, well, if he's coming on song, he's doing it at a perfect time where Manchester United need it. And then it heads away. Well, West Brom, they're not ones for not trying. But David De Gea has been sensational. 
I wouldn't be surprised if Fosu Menza gets dragged because he's not had the greatest of games. Another phenomenal save by David De Gea. All five that he's made tonight have been absolutely terrific. And if this is this a late surge of form for something to give the something the uh, Spanish coach to think about for Euro 2020. Cheng with the corner. Oh, it's in. It's gone in. It's bounced everywhere. Commentators curse. But that takes nothing away from the magnificent performance of David De Gea today. And what happened? I think it went in off De Gea after it hit the post. Let's have a look here. Great header. And I think Dan James does a good job. And it touches De Gea on the way in. Oh, that's unfortunate. It's going down as a David De Gea own goal. And that's cruel. That is absolutely the cruelest thing ever. Because David De Gea has had a wonder game. It's going to take nothing away from his performance. Oh my. That's that's awful. That is awful. That is a cruel injustice. Manchester United 2. West Brom 1. And uh, it's so undeserved. Not for West Brom. But for David De Gea to have an own goal to his name. Because he's had a great performance tonight. And not in the Premier League since the day at West Brom when he got 2. Makes the Greenwood. Oh, it's a good effort and it gets saved by Johnston again. The goalkeeper's having a brilliant game to be fair. We've had a classic today. That's for sure. We've had three penalties. Two tremendous saves by David De Gea. Other great saves by Johnston. A 2-1 uh, scoreline and still plenty to come as we enter the final 20 minutes of the match. And about, oh my word! What a hit by Arsene play! He emphatically makes it 3-1. Ho oh, ho! What a goal by Alsani Plate. Absolutely emphatic rocket. No way Sam Johnston was getting to that. Corner here by Van der Beek. Alsani Plate is left to his own devices. And the man at the near post can't reach it. An absolute venom volley by Alsani Plate. Sam Johnston I probably was trying to take evasive action. And uh, he's loving life as a Manchester United player at the moment. He's made an immediate impact from signing from Munch and Bladbank. Parfitch adamant that he's signing no more players this window. He doesn't need to. As Grant makes way. And, uh, well, Manchester United. Another goal. And uh, the goals keep on coming. And that could be one of the pick of the bunch from Alessane Please point of view anyway. As Robinson's come on and substituted. Now here's play again. play has gone down. And uh, no foul given. Which is rather surprising. And that is the one thing that teams have not been able to beat. The work ethic and the workhorse nature of this Manchester United side to continue playing for the whole duration of the match. And in a lot of cases this season. In fact, in almost all cases this season. No team has been able to keep up with them. But, uh, Aaron Hemwood. Oh, it's a wonder. Absolute wonder goal from Aaron Hemwood. Seeing as a celebration, of course. And, uh, well, it's another one for him. Captain Marvel, Aaron Hemwood. And he's finding his feet in front of goal again. That's much more like it, really. Trademark right foot, no stopping it. For the best part of 20 plus years. Aaron Henwood is surely a man that will keep on going. Especially as long as Coach Parfitch has. He always has been a fan of Coach Park in the NBA. He's probably even more a fan of him now. Uh, but Aaron Henwood continues his career. It's only the third goal of the league. But Aaron Henwood's efficiency cannot be understated here. Manchester United 4. West Brom 1 ends up being the final score as... Manchester United have another convincing night. Another four goals. It didn't look like that at the start though, did it? Sam Johnson and David De Gea making phenomenal saves in the first half. But Manchester United eventually went ahead and scored all their goals in the second most likely. 
Um, but a very unfortunate night for David De Gea, considering that one goal for himself. But he had a performance worthy of a clean sheet. But Manchester United, well, they win again. Manchester United 4, West Brom 1. So let's have a look at all the scores in the weekend's Premier League matches and what that means to the table. There was only three games on uh, the night of our coverage. The other two, Leeds United grabbing another win against Crystal Palace. And they have come alive all of a sudden in the uh, race to beat the drop. Manchester City drawing 2 all with Brighton. Uh, the rest of the weekend, Leicester City beating Newcastle by a goal to nil, uh, which will help them in their top four race considering the result at the Eddie Head Stadium uh, just the day before. Uh, West Ham United 1, Wolves 2, which uh, keeps the, uh, puts them back into fourth place, as you can see. Arsenal and Tottenham playing each other to a one-all draw in the London derby. So Everton beating Southampton by two goals to nil. Burnley beating Chelsea by a goal to nil. Liverpool beating Aston Villa by a goal to nil, which means uh, the title race pretty much stays the same, although Ryan Mason Spurs tied now have dropped points, of course. Fulham beating Sheffield United by three goals to two, and they will face Manchester United next uh, after the cup double that's coming up as Manchester United will take on them. Southampton in the FA Cup and then the second leg uh, at Arsenal uh, in the Carabao Cup. So, to the Premier League table then, it is still seven points uh, between Manchester United and Liverpool, but they've now broken clean, uh, free clearing of Spurs by two, my apologies. Wolves, as we said, go back into fourth. And the Battle of the Fourth is getting really hotly contested between uh, them, Manchester City and Leicester City as uh, Chelsea probably more or less drop out of it maybe at this point uh, with their loss to Burnley. Uh, Arsenal uh, take advantage of a situation to climb within one point of them and it looks like maybe seventh will be the best for them but they've also got Manchester United in the Carabao Cup to think about. Uh, Newcastle uh, up into ninth and West Ham complete the top ten. Uh, Burnley move up to 11th, uh, Everton fall behind a bit in 12th and it's uh, pretty much the same for the Premier League table as it has probably been for the last two weeks now. Aston Villa dropping to 15th and uh, well there is big news at the bottom isn't there uh, with Leeds United winning again. Uh, Crystal Palace uh, falling a bit further behind and then there's an 8 point gap between Sheffield United and uh, Leeds and then a further 2 uh, between them and Brighton so Sheffield United look to be almost doomed for the trap draw as it were uh, Palace also seem to be there but Leeds are putting up a bit of a second half of season fight back and maybe their great escape could just about be on